So by way of an agenda, as I say, we will start with an introduction to risk-based monitoring. Um, and we're also going to talk about the experience that we've gained in deploying risk-based monitoring strategies over the last number of years. But more specifically today, we want to focus on data management and the role that data management plays in supporting those strategies. And as Andrew said in his introduction, my role over the last couple of years at Quintiles has really been about leveraging the power of data management and how we can use our data management skills and processes to really develop a centralized monitoring and a centralized data surveillance component. Because if you consider risk-based monitoring is really about using the advances in technology and process that allows us to get a better window into integrated data, which in turn gives us the information and the power to make decisions that allow us to monitor our sites optimally. So what has facilitated this change in the industry? And I think you know, risk-based monitoring as a as a topic of conversation has been around for quite some time. But we've really seen a lot of momentum in the last couple of years, both from the, the regulatory perspective in terms of the guidance that's now emerging from our key regulators, such as the FDA and the EMA, and also in consortia like Transcelerate, where our pharma companies are coming together and really trying to critically analyze how we execute our studies and how we can do that more effectively and more efficiently. And underpinning all of that are the advances in technology that now afford us the opportunity to think about how we're executing our studies and how we might be able to do that in a more cost efficient and in a more quality focused way. So I do think it is the advances in technology that has precipitated the momentum that we've really started to see over the last couple of years. And our ability now to bring together clinical data as well as operational data to give us that more holistic view of how a study is running and to be able to then use that information to make an assessment of how sites are performing and then tailor our site monitoring strategy to suit the individual needs of each of those sites. So there is that driving need to change how we do things. And from research that we've done, at this point, over 90% of the market is aware and understands the concept of risk-based monitoring. There will still always be a variation in definition of risk-based monitoring. But at the heart of risk-based monitoring is that concept that individual sites have individual needs in terms of how they should be monitored. And one size fits all, which has been our traditional approach to monitoring of going on site to visit and doing 100% SDV, that that sort of blanket approach to site monitoring may not be the most effective and efficient way of targeting what's needed by those sites. And by integrating our data and bringing it together, we can get a view of how sites are performing much earlier than historically has been possible. And we're now able to leverage that information to optimize our monitoring strategy. And of course, that impacts not just the costs that are associated with site monitoring and study execution, but also that ability to see data earlier allows us to be more systematic in our approach to determining safety issues in the data, and also to enhance the quality of the data that we're producing. And then, of course, having that window into the data does allow us to be more um, powerful in what we're seeing in terms of data. And that ability to communicate with the sites um, in a more real-time way, so as we start to see issues emerging in the data, being able to get to contact the sites you know, within a short period of recognizing those issues just enhances that relationship with the site. So again, you're not waiting until you visit the site to deal with the issues that are coming through in the data. So that ability to support the site from a centralized data surveillance capacity is only enhancing and adding to the relationship 
from a site monitoring perspective. And as I say, I think we sometimes fall into the, the premise that risk-based monitoring is simply a site monitoring strategy. It isn't. It's really a study execution strategy. And the role of data management in supporting that strategy is so, so important. And that's very much going to be the focus of the presentation today. How we at Quintiles over the last number of years have evolved into risk-based monitoring strategies that as technology has allowed, has brought data more and more to the fore. And right now we have experience in excess of 100 studies that covered 25,000 sites, 250,000 subjects across a whole range of, the, of therapeutic areas. And we've been delivering these studies in risk-based monitoring models. And it's been an evolution and a journey. And we've gone from the traditional on-site only 100% SDV world into reducing the SDV component, into targeting the on-site visits relative to doing remote visits, right through into our current strategy, which we call data-driven trial execution, because it is about data, and it's about using that data to then optimally monitor the sites. 